Hello girls, it's Yolanda Renee and today we are going to be doing a review of this amazing curly wig from RPG Show. Here is the packaging. It comes in this cute box and the hair is secured in a netting and also a plastic bag. In the package you get a wig cap, actually two wig caps, a wig brush and also their magazine that has lots of info in there to help you apply your unit. So here's the unit. It's a full lace wig and here's the product number. As you can see, it's looking a little dusty, but we're going to take care of that. The construction is amazing. There are three hair clips and also an adjustable band in the back. Here's a close up of the lace. The lace is flawless. It looks so realistic. It is absolutely insane. But let's get started. We're going to start with, of course, cutting the lace. Definitely make sure you have some sharp sheer scissors to do this cutting and the point is you need to cut really close to the hairline but of course don't cut off the knots because we want that realistic look that they already made for us. Once you have the lace removed definitely wash your unit. I um, sprayed this down just for the sake of the video, but definitely do a nice cleanse to really get the hair moisturized and condition and absolutely deep condition the hair, especially this unit because as you can see, we have some red ends um, on the hair. So we definitely want that to be deep conditioned. And I just used my Giovanni's um, conditioner. Here's the wig after a few moments, 30 minutes to be exact, and it looks amazing. Now that we have the wig looking moisturized and clean, let's take care of our hair. Of course, start on freshly moisturized hair, but we are going to be doing our edges now. I'm using the My L Organics Edge Control, and it's, oh my god, this edge control is so bomb. Um, so yeah, I just slick my edges down, and I'm going to use the wig cap that they sent me. And now we're just going to put the wig on, making sure the parting is lining up with our natural part. I'm not going to have any leave out, and I'm not using the combs on the wig. I'm going to be using bobby pins to secure the wig down, um, you know, around my hairline. I just feel like bobby pins are less damaging. It may just be a mind thing, but I'd rather not use the combs. But it's great that they have them there for those of you who would like to use those combs. So we're looking good. Now I'm just going to, you know, really work on the parting to make sure it's looking as realistic as possible. Next, we're going to conceal the part just to make it stand out more and look more realistic. And we're also going to set that concealer with powder just like we would during foundation. So now it's time to style this wig. It has dried a bit, so I'm going to add some more water. And we are going to clump up these curls for a more defined look. To give this wig a more defined curl pattern, we're going to be clumping the curls. Clumping curly hair is very similar to us four ABC girls doing twist outs where we're doing twists. So we're going to clump these curls, let them dry, and then style. See, I just clumped up these curls. So look how this is a natural clumped up curl right here. And... Actually, we have three. So look at this. This compared to the looser curls. So this is the look we're going for. And if you rather not do this styling portion with the wig on, you can certainly put this on your wig head and do this. Um, but yeah, this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to go through my whole head and I'll come back and show you the final result. So this is a comparison of how it looks when you actually clump the curls and let them really just set compared to just the natural loose curls as the unit came. So as you can see, it's more defined and more curly and that's what we're going for. And once we let this dry, we can you know fluff it out and make it bigger the wet defined curls just leave those curls alone and let them dry 
no hands and hair syndrome leave the hair alone okay oh i'm using this nairobi foaming motion for some of the areas where i feel like it needs more of a hold for the curls but most of the curls definitely can be molded without product I'm just gonna let this hair dry. In the video, I basically showed you how I put the wig on, how I styled it, and all that good stuff. But I definitely wanted to come back on camera so you could see what it looked like once it was dry. So it's completely dry now. Of course, it's gotten bigger. And overall, I really, really, really love this hair. I love when it's big. Um, I didn't throw it out yet, but I do plan on throwing it out. I'll have a few more videos coming up with this wig. I have no complaints whatsoever. The shedding is fine. Detangling is super easy. The look, the feel, everything is amazing. The only downside to this wig is you can't really cut it because as you can see the ends are dyed red so you know to shape this how i want to shape it um i'm afraid to do that because i don't want to lose any of the red tips so i have been rocking it as it was styled for me um but i do notice that i need to cut this side a little bit more but i don't want to cut it because i don't want to cut the red off so that is the only downside to this wig but of course it's curly so it's easy to you know to mask the imperfections as far as length um but yeah i love it i absolutely love it um but anyway let me know what you guys think i'll put up some pictures of how this hair looks after a few days of not doing anything to it Um, but if you don't like that look, you can simply do what I just showed you in this video to tame it back down. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye girls.